Hi guys, welcome back. You might notice that we are in a different setting for today's video, and uh, that's going to be the case for the foreseeable future, because welcome to Quarantine Series! So, if you are currently quarantined, like the rest of Spain, and probably soon to be much of Europe, or if you just want to get on that quarantine bandwagon, if you're doing the like self-distancing, this is going to be the perfect workout for you. We are going for a total body bar workout, so nothing will be left out. And the beauty of this is, if you are stuck at home and you don't have any materials, we are using things that you might be stocked up on right now. So, you don't need a ball. No, go ahead and grab one of your rolls of toilet paper because you probably have 8,000 of them. And then also, we can use a couple of cans, maybe a couple of jars of beans, anything like that in place of weights. So, grab your supplies, grab a chair for a little bit of balance, roll out your mat or a rug, whatever you have, no excuses. We are going to get quarantine fit. Okay, so we're gonna start off like we start off a lot of my bar videos here. So I want you to reach arms up overhead, lift the chest, draw navel in, stand nice and tall here, and you're just going to start with a nice little high knee march. So just to get heart rate up a little bit here, knees will track straight forward, navel drawing in, and keep that nice long posture here. So focusing on lifting from the abs rather than the hips. And we're going to start to add a pull with the arms. So just big pull down and down. So tell me in the comments below, what are you guys doing to amuse yourselves during quarantine? Anything? Anything? One, because I need ideas. I mean, I can just sit here all day pretty much and film quarantine videos. So there's that. So if you've got any requests, let me know. And we'll take a twist here. So elbow toward opposite knee. And go for four, three, two, one. Good. Woo, release. Let's take the feet wide. So shoulder distance to just past, toes are forward or toes slightly turned out, depending on say your hip. You'll just take a squat down, squeeze all the way up. So we'll keep the heart rate up here and go fairly quick with these. Maybe not as deep as we would normally go, but still as deep as you can, keeping it controlled. Make sure knees are tracking over the toes or not dropping inward or pressing too far out. And weight will always be in the heels. Chest lifted. So just squeezing butt nice and tight here. Let's do four, three, two, one. And we're gonna go down for three, two, one, all the way up, lift heels. It's a three, two, one. Heels down at the bottom, lift at the top. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. So just catching that momentum at the top so you don't just like, wee, blast off. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One, and one more here. And then go ahead, sit low, turn toes straight forward. One side here, you're just going to step to a narrow squat, back out. So step narrow, step regular. Make sure that you're stepping into a squat and not a lunge. So sometimes with the momentum of the foot stepping outward, it's going to be a lot of weight into that stepping side, and it'll look more like a lunge. It's not a lunge here. Go for two and one, and we'll do the other side. So step in and out, in and out. Of course, navel is drawing in tight here. You're pressing heels down, 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 down. And go for three, two, 
one, let's stay narrow there, and we'll just do a little heel lift. So staying in that squat, heels roll up, heels roll down, heels roll up, heels roll down. So just warming up the legs still, and then we're gonna get into a nice juicy bar series. So we'll be doing a lot of outer thighs today. Yeah, a lot of outer thighs today. So just prepare yourself with that and go for three and two. Last one, hold it for four, three, two, one. Release, bring it all the way up. Give it a little shake out here. Okay, let's just give it a quick little stretch and then we'll get into our standing bar series. So feet wide here, toes pointing out, inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, sink down into the hips. Inhale, big sweep up and over. So we'll do a few more of those, down and up, down and up, and last one here. Hold your reach at the top, turn toes forward, lift the chest a little higher and find a forward fold. Letting head just hang here, nod the head yes. Shake it out now, so you might be holding a little bit of stress there. I am, I sure am. And then you can take a little rock side to side, a little sway. So just letting everything relax a little bit there. And then hands back into the center, put a bend in both knees and press straight. Just bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Good, press it up and then turn out toward the right foot. So turn the foot fully out, hands will frame it. You could keep a little bit of softness in the right knee if you wanted to. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen the back, press chest forward. Exhale, melt down into it. Walk back through center, turn out the left foot. Same thing over here, inhale, lengthen halfway and exhale, melt. Turn back through center again. Heel toe the feet back into hip distance. Put a deep bend in the knees. Imagine you're picking up 500 euros in your butt. Squeeze it tight as you roll back up to standing. Give the shoulders a roll back. Good, there we go. Okay, let's get into it. So we're gonna use our first, our first props. Yeah, here we go. So I've got two jars of white beans here. Any cans of anything, jars, you could even fill two water bottles. I don't care. Here's the thing. These are gonna be a little bit lighter probably than your normal set of hand weights. High reps, but hey, do you have anything better to do today? We've got nothing but time now, so let's go for some high reps. So feet will be hip distance apart here, toes pointing forward. We'll sit the butt back, deep bend in the knees, and then chest will actually tilt downward. You'll pull up and in through the navel. So hands down here, we're just gonna get right into some narrow rows. So elbows come along the sides, exhale, lift, inhale, release. Neck is going in line with the spine. So don't either look woo, straight forward, you've got nothing to see, um, or tuck in looking toward the navel. There's nothing there, you know. So this one is going to feel probably pretty mild, but it is a good one for posture. And also it's going to set us up, it's just gonna lead us nicely into triceps, which is what we are going to be targeting next. So we might as well just like get on that train right now. Yeah, let's get to those triceps. Let's do it. Here's three and two. Get to the fun stuff. Last one. So elbows stay lifted to that point slightly above the torso. Pull navel in a little tighter. Inhale, jars to shoulders. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. So you're keeping that squeeze from the upper back. What you don't want is this, where the shoulders are just dropping forward. Not the same thing. You're maintaining that squeeze. So like you're holding onto an egg between the shoulder blades. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. And we're gonna try to make this burn without using weights. 
Alternatively, if you guys do have weights in a ball at home, you could of course use that here. I'm just trying to give you some ideas here for if you do not have those things. So we've got options still. You can imprison my body, but you cannot imprison my mind. This just in. This is where we get creative too, yeah. I am starting to feel it in the triceps a bit, so hopefully you guys are feeling it too. And go for four, three, squeezing butt here as well, two. Let's keep it back on one, and you're gonna do a little pulse, pulse. So straight pulse, keep squeezing from the shoulders, navels in, navel in, just the one. Keep those weights high off of your butt. And what are you using as your resistance here? Got the white beans. So I can use these as weights and then go make white bean soup. Whoa, oh, so versatile. And go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna press hands in toward each other. So just a little squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you are hitting yourself in the butt right now with that resistance, then you are not lifting high enough. So roll, lift, Keep it in tight. Modification here, if everything's getting tired, would just be to come up a little straighter because then that angle, of course, is going to be a little bit milder, slightly less resistant. Um, but, you know, if you want to push it here, I mean, we got time to work out now. We might as well like come out of our cages, come out of our caves even, like looking super fresh, super strong. This is my goal anyway. My only regret is not ordering a pull-up bar in time. I would've been in here doing pull-ups, better believe it. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do we need a break? I'll give you a quick break. Yeah, go white beans, you got it. And then you're gonna lift up again here. We're gonna do just a little micro bend, push, bend, push. So it's just kind of a shrugging push. So those of you who elected to use weights on this one, I'm sort of like, sorry about the number of reps we're doing. <laughs> but go for it, you know, build up to it. And let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Give the shoulders a big roll out. So you're gonna put down one of those. Hold on to one for now and we're gonna use a chair or some form of stability. So something that you can just rest the hand on. You're not gonna be putting a ton of weight into it because the weight is gonna be all right here in these guys. So we'll start here in a first position, heels together, toes turned out, and I want you to just hold that weight in front at a 90 degree angle, okay? So lift up to the balls of the feet, lower down. So it's just like, you know, it's just there in front of your face. Like you're looking through prison bars. That feels correct, yeah. And of course you could also do all of this without any source of stability, except for, I mean, all of this, your most important source of stability. But if you wanna have a chair there, you are more than welcome. And let's go for three. Navel drawn in, nice and tall, two, and one, good. So inside foot is going to stay planted here. With that outside leg, you're gonna squeeze knee to elbow, and then cross it behind, arm reaches up, come into a curtsy, lift back up, knee to elbow. So make sure on this one that you are keeping that front heel down. 
So as you step behind, front heel stays down. So you might need to take a slightly bigger step back. I'm slightly limited right now because I've got a wall behind me, um, but go within that space that you have available. And if you can't step too far back, you'll just stay up a little higher as long as that front heel stays down. So that would be the more important thing for this one. And let's go for three, two, and one, and step it back. So keeping feet where they are, you're just going to come up. Hips are square to the front. We drop it down, press that arm back over. So arm will just stay straight here. Feet are in line, hips turn to the front. Squeezing the butt tight in either direction. So back will stay really, really long here. So imagine you are balancing something on your head. If everything drops forward, there she blows. And let's go for four, three, two, and last one, stay low. Pulse it here. So still front heel is planted. You are squeezing the butt as tight as you can here. So I'm actually gonna turn and show you from the side. You guys keep pulsing in the meantime. You don't wanna be here with all that weight in the front and everything popping out. Weight will be equal between both legs. So you're drawing that back leg, that back glute under and really holding a tuck there. So that is important. And keep pulsing for four, three, two, one. So stay low here. I want you to bring that arm back in front, palm is up toward the ceiling. You can have a little bit of a soft bend in the elbow. Make sure you're not like ooh, extending too far forward. You're just going to curl, front heel lifts, release it down. So it's gonna be an exhale. Curl, as you're doing this, you are keeping a bend in the back knee. So again, I'll just turn out to the side here to show you guys. What we don't want is that you're here Oh, I could do this all day. Like, you better believe I could be there all day. Put a deep bend in that back knee. Now try it. See how that feels a bit different. So I don't want you cheating this. Even if nobody can see, even if it's just you at home alone, like we have standards. And go for three. Two, get ready to hold it on one, and we pulse. So 90 degree in the arms again here. Make sure that elbow's not falling down too close. Keep it lifted in line with the shoulder. Keep tucking that back knee under. We should be getting shaky here. I am. We haven't even touched that roll of toilet paper yet. Oh my God, what fun we have in store for that. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low. You're gonna open knees, open arm, bring everything back to center. So we're just wrapping it around and forward. Wrap around and forward, navel in tight. Open and in, open and in. Give me four, three, two, Last one, we'll keep it narrow again, stay low. Pulse up the elbow for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, four, three, two, one. Woo, release. Give it a shake out. See, we can like, we can still make it happen at home. So if you're using a chair here, woo, pow. Flip it over to the other side. I'm just gonna move my, my items. And we'll start from the top of all that. Oh my God, I'm like out of breath. How is this? This is why we have to like keep going, stay strong in here. Because I feel like all my muscles are just gonna atrophy. But no, because we're doing this. So <laughs> arms into a 90 degree angle. Heels together, toes turned out. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release down. Really controlling that release. 
the whole way through. So both on the lift as well as the release, you want to imagine that the backs of your thighs are like magnets toward each other. So they're squeezing in super, super tight. Staying really narrow. And that squeeze is actually generated by the butt. So we're just going to make the butt work a little harder here. So nice little up and down, up and down. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good, heels come down. Okay, so same deal here with that outside arm. We're gonna squeeze knee to elbow, step behind, find your curtsy. So feet in line and front heel staying down back long. And it probably feels really good to be moving right about now. For me it does. <laughs> I basically just like took the weekend, didn't like, didn't really exercise a whole lot. Group classes have stopped. So this feels like, whoo. <laughs> But that's good. That's a good thing. What better time to like push yourself than now? Three more here. And last one, step it back. Feet will stay planted here. So at the top, arm will come in front and then we just sink down into it. So exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Squeezing butt tight, hips still square toward me right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that like really crazy bird noise that's happening right now. Like part of me is like, is that for real? Is that a real sound? And let's do three, two, get ready to stay low on one, and we pulse. We pulse, we pulse, we pulse. Everybody pulsing, keeping that butt tucked under. I don't even have to turn to the side here. I can just keep going with you guys because you know the drill. You are tucking butt under. And unless the butt feels like it's gonna like fall off because it's getting so, so like burning right now, then you can tuck more. I mean, even if it feels like it's gonna fall off, tuck more. We all tuck more. Everybody tuck more. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that arm in front. Palm up toward the ceiling, heel lift, elevated curl. So you could modify this if you wanted by pulling the elbow in a little bit closer to your side. I really personally like the elevated curl. So especially if you're working with lighter weights, it's just a way to make it a little bit harder. Keep a deep bend in that back knee. I feel myself straightening too. I'm just like, no, resist. Tuck butt under. Here's four. We're almost there. We just got a few more things. Three, two, hold it there on one. We pulse, we pulse, we pulse some more. Squeeze butt, squeeze navel. You're lifted high onto the balls of the feet. Keep pulsing. I feel like I'm getting a little shiny and give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low. We're gonna open, bring it in. Open wide, bring it in. Oh, I'm shaky around this side. To be fair, surprise, surprise, I started with my dominant. Why am I the worst sometimes? I don't know. So we're finishing with old lefty. Old lefty don't work as good. It's 
especially when we're already tired. Go for three, two, last one here. That arm is gonna stay in front, stay low. Little lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold one, four, three, two, one. Give that a shake out. We're done with our weights. Oh, oh, okay. So weights or makeshift weights can go off to the side. You can get your chair out as well. Chow, chow. And we'll take it down to the mat. So just come on down to the knees here real quickly. Let's just give that just a quick stretch. So from a modified plank position, step right foot to the outside right hand, press pelvis down. Think about doing a slight cobra pose here. So chest will be lifting through and up and forward. Give a little wiggle out. Let's take a twist. So look back over that right shoulder. You can drop that left hip even a little bit lower. And then come back in. We'll switch sides here. So left foot to the outside of left hand. Again, just pressing down. Chest forward and through. You can give it a little wiggle around here. We'll take a twist. and release, step back. Okay, this is where it's gonna get fun. Go ahead, grab your roll of toilet paper or your ball if you have it. Let's bring that roll of toilet paper behind the left knee. So bring it behind the left knee, give it a nice tight squeeze. Ooh, that's not easy. Um, so you're going to lower to the right forearm here. I don't know if this is gonna work actually. Might have to, I wore not the correct leggings for this. So if you guys have the correct leggings, some of them, there we go, I'll just give it a tighter squeeze. We're gonna make it work. So right forearm, left palm, open up into a diamond. You lift, you lower, you lift. You should actually lower all the way down. If that happens, put it back in. I think I'm needing to just squish it down a little bit. It's fine, it still works. Okay, lift and lower, lift and lower. So exhale up. Inhale down, you're pushing the weight right now onto the left side. So like I said, if you have a ball, you can use it. Also, I mean, this is a little bit easier I find if you've got like paper on skin contact versus paper on mesh legging, which is like really quite slippy. I did experiment with this last night with uh, yeah, just like paper on skin and it stayed just fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chalk this one up to my uh, mesh leggings. But it's getting nice and shaky. Anyway, go for four, three. And that's, that's, the, that's what we want anyway. Keep it up on one and you'll make it a little pulse. So I want you to think there's like a little laser beam in your kneecap right now. See if you can rotate that laser beam as high up toward the ceiling as possible. So you're dropping that hip open with all the weight in the right side. And keep pulsing it there. Press up out of the shoulders. I don't wanna see ooh, the sad sink happening. Oh, why is this so shaky with the toilet paper? This is harder. This is good. This is good. We're gonna make it harder. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep it up, squeeze in on it now. So heel to butt, you're just gonna squeeze that toilet paper or ball or whatever you're using. You could also use a cushion. I just liked the idea of toilet paper because it seems to be a hot topic right now. Also, let it be known we have not stocked up on toilet paper. Don't go buying out all the toilet paper. That's irresponsible. Get it together. We have a normal amount of toilet paper and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you need to adjust there for a second, as I do, feel free to adjust. And then final thing here is gonna be a combo. So we'll do a little lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Just one and one. So it should be feeling nice and shaky. You will get both the active leg as well as the supporting leg. Yes, you will, because all the weight is on that supporting side. Oh, 
And surprise, surprise, who started with, uh, not, uh, with the dominant again? This girl. <sighs> Go for four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! Okay, let's give that a little wiggle out and we'll flip it around. Okay, though maybe it'll be easier for me to hold this on the right side. We'll find out. We shall find out. But yeah, would not recommend the mesh, the mesh life right now if you're using toilet paper because mesh life is not working for me. So it'll be left forearm, right palm, right leg has the toilet paper. You're gonna exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So that knee is turned open here. So you can have knee and ankle on about the same level, lift, Oh, lift and lower. I mean, I guess, you know, if it's fallen out, get used to these feelings of frustration because we, we got all the time in the world in here. So if you're not feeling frustrated yet, buckle up. Let's do four. It's a little easier on the pulses. Three two <laughs> and one and then keep it up there and pulse it so just little tiny pulses there we go yeah it's a little easier to hold on the pulses because it's not such a big range but I mean part of the idea here is that you are squeezing that heel as tight to your butt as you possibly can which is why you're probably feeling that kind of crampy feeling in the hamstring but if you guys have come to my classes before you know what I'm gonna say about that crampy feeling it's not a real cramp it's a fake cramp. The hamstring that cried cramp. No, you just shut up hamstring. And just press through it. <laughs> Angling the knee up toward the ceiling as much as possible. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze on that toilet paper. So it helps to flex the foot here, heel to butt. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. See, little did you know that you could get such a, such a workout from toilet paper. Little did you know. What kind of toilet paper are you guys using? I don't know what this is. This, is uh, this was brought to me by a friend because last week when everybody started stocking up on toilet paper, we were not on that game. And so like we had to get assistance, toilet paper assistance. And go for three two, one, little lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Final push here, and then we get to come down on our backs. Keep it going strong, press up out of the hips, out of the shoulder. Here's four, three, two, one. There we go, that's that. Now, I'm just gonna fluff my toilet paper, give it, bring it back to life a little bit, you know, as you do. And then we're gonna flip over onto our back. We're still gonna use it, use it or lose it. Let me just adjust my microphone so that doesn't become an issue. Okay, toilet paper is shedding, whatever, these things happen. Go ahead, come all the way down onto your back here. <sighs> that feels good. Toilet paper is gonna go between the shins now. Knees in a tabletop position. Squeeze it nice and tight. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lift to our hundredth position, navel tucking in. You're just gonna inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Lower back pressing into the mat. Continue that breathing pattern. You shouldn't feel a lot of strain in the neck. If you do, it's probably because you're just lifting with the head. You wanna take a big old crunch. Neck will be in line with the spine and the abs are doing the lifting. On your next inhale, extend legs up straight. Keep squeezing that toilet paper. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Couple more breaths. And then let's go over to a diagonal. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, inhale. One more breath. 
and then you can rest the head down for a second, knees back to a tabletop. We're just gonna pass that roll of toilet paper. So you're gonna take it out. You can do this with shoulders and head up or down, reach it overhead, and then bring it back. So it's just a little game of hot potato with yourself. I mean, if you're truly like quarantined solo times, these are the things you have to look for for entertainment. Like you're gonna be your own best friend at the end of this or something. I'm not quarantined solo, so that is nice. Also, I mean, got a couple, got a couple of fine felines running around somewhere. Although they're extra quarantined in this moment, they get a double dose of quarantine so that they wouldn't just be like running around <laughs> in front of me right now, jumping on me. And last one, and then bring the toilet paper back into the hands. Knees back to tabletop. We're just going to do a little figure eight pass here as you take a bicycle. So again, if neck is getting tired, just rest it down for a second. Continue with that pass. Full extension of the leg. If it feels okay to stay lifted there, you'll get a little bit more of the upper abs. A little bit of coordination for the brain. Go for four, three, two, one, okay, quick little break here. We're gonna do one of my favorite ab moves, um, which is great, because yeah, let's, let's stick to the favorites. So knees into tabletop here, extend the right leg long, put a slightly straighter, slightly straighter knee on the left here, uh, toilet paper is in the right hand, you're gonna crunch up and around. So obviously I could sit here, just do that pass without crunching, but what would be the fun in that? You are crunching it for four, three, two, one, and release. Now is not the time to cheat. Left leg long, slightly straighter right knee, ball or toilet paper in the left hand, and we crunch it around. Here's four, three, two, one, straight back into that bicycle. Four, three, two, one, woo, okay. So rest the head for just a second here, give it a little wiggle out. Hello, lower abs, hi old friends. Um, okay, we're gonna go back into that bent pass and now we're going to start to progress this a little bit. So it's gonna be, an extension there, pass, extend, pass, extend. For three, two, one, bring it back between the legs. Again, here, legs are gonna stay long now. Again, you could rest head, neck, and shoulders down. If lower back needs a little extra support on this one, hands underneath tailbone. So notice this is not the tailbone, this is your lower back. You want hands just at the edge so that your lower back is kind of falling into a little hole here. So we always want lower back down, not lifted. So we're gonna do double leg lift. Down to that diagonal. Exhale, lift, really slow and controlled. Alternatively, you could stay elevated on this one. Diagonal, exhale, lift. So there's no jump with this one. I don't wanna see you just going super, super fast with these, especially with ab exercises, slower is better. And go for three. Two, keep it up on one, and you do a little twist. So just side to side, side to side. Just that little twist in the hips. This is like the most deceiving thing ever. It looks so innocent, and yet, why is it so terrible? Go for four, three, two, one, good, okay. This is where I said we're gonna progress it. So straight legs, grab that toilet paper, lower down, and we pass. 
So same thing with a straight leg. You could go back to those bent knees if you want. There's time to progress this. It doesn't have to be the first time that everything's just going crazy. Go for four, three, two, and one. Legs up straight again here. We're gonna do a single leg drop and crunch to either side. So right leg drops, we crunch over to the left. Bring it back up, other side. So just twist and back up. Twist, back up. Twist, back to center. Let's do four, three, two, one. Back through center, final thing here. Little ankle pulse crunching up. Eight. Four. Three. Two. One. And done. There we go. Oh, that got me a little bit. That got me feeling some type of way. I can't lie. Extend legs out all the way long here. Flex the feet, press heels down. You can put your toilet paper off to the side. Inhale, reach arms overhead. On the exhale, go ahead and peel it all the way up to a seated position. We'll just take a little forward fold there. So just reaching forward toward the toes. If that got you a little hot and bothered too, well, here's the convenient thing of a roll of toilet paper. Check it out. You can just dab, just dab the sweat and go. Very nice, wow. See this, look at that. What a great time to be alive. Just discovering the many purposes of all of these household supplies. And then go ahead, take soles of the feet together here. So we'll go for a nice little butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Sit nice and tall, inhale, lift the chest, press chest forward between the biceps. You can give it a little wiggle here, side to side. And press forward. Did a fair bit of outer thigh and glutes there, so uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to give that a stretch. So we'll go for the stack. This is one of my favorites. Um, not everybody loves it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if the stack there is not accessible for you, go ahead. Just take a cross-legged sit. Yeah. So just like you're back in primary school again, just take that little cross leg. Um, I want you to, to flex the feet here though. So that's just going to lock the ankles in place so they don't sickle, which is when they would just kind of turn up like that. We want to keep everything nice and firm and strong. Sit up nice and tall there. You can take a little fold forward. I also like to do a little kind of weird sway, a little zombie sway side to side here. Um, so that I can find the parts of my hip that are a little bit tighter and kind of dig into them a little bit, you know what I mean? Kind of off on that diagonal, yeah. And let's take a twist with it. So whichever leg is currently stacked on top, that is the direction you will be turning toward. So you'll take opposite hand to the outside leg, take a nice little twist there, really nice for the abs. Really nice and invigorating. Good, and then go ahead, release. We'll just cross the other direction. Pop goes my hip. There we go, so sit nice and tall here. Again, you can give a little wiggle out. Make sure that sit bones are grounded, locked. And again, you can lean forward into it, give it a little sway. Find where it's a little tight. Work it out and bring it back up, take that twist. And go ahead, release. I just feel like those twists, like I could stay there forever. I mean, I don't have to be anywhere, so, so I could stay there forever, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, come back to hands and knees here. Hands are new shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest, nice little uh, cat-cow here. Shoulders down, really hollowing the lower back. Exhale, round 
tuck in, chin to chest, feeling those abs, inhale, lift, exhale, round, come back to a neutral spine, tuck the toes underneath, hover knees off the mat, push hips back, extend up to a downward dog, give it a nice little pedal out here, nice for a little bit of energy here just to get inverted, help us feel a little bit more positive. And then slowly you'll start to pedal the feet forward toward the hands. Once you get all the way up to the hands there, drop the heels down, sit the butt back, lift chest, the weight will come out of the fingertips. Slowly lift up, squeezing the butt nice and tight. Inhale, you can take arms up overhead, palms together, exhale, hands down through heart center, Beautiful job, you guys. Thank you for joining me for the first video of our quarantine series. If you are enjoying this series, go ahead, give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be kicking out more videos than ever right now because, hey, what else do I have to do? And if you have any ideas for future videos or like fun quarantine challenges, quarantine games, let me know down below. Like we've all got to be in this together right now because we're all separated. You know what I mean? So we got to like come together, use the old like digital experience so and i will see you very soon bye